I didn't say a Genesis, SNES, and now GBA. I don't know what to choose. I'll pick GBA, since I don't want to compete myself over the SNES era again. The double ramp of this fake furriness is an uncrushable telecommunications of Jafar going too far. Meanwhile, flame is over the damn superb worlds. Then you gotta go to Genie Wonderland and hope you don't fall off like Mega Man rolling a cloud up his ass. I really like this game. The music is the best, but SNES is more glorious. The levels are creative design. The scroll back of this message is a great 2D platform. At the time, it still lives to the edge. You got some logged in storyline, some cool scenes, and intros from the Disney classic movie. What a bonus, eh? I don't know what to suspect anymore from this game. Everything's perfect. Even the final boss tricked me in some various industriousness. Photography, wayward sense of attraction. So one can point the length. The game may be good and all, but I wish it had at least three levels containing more. I mean, Super Chaos Man IV had over 14 stages. No excuses. But yes, Capcom has a legend in SNES history and Sega Genesis history. I recommend you play it. A jumping balancing of Blue Monkey Time, and you're going to love it. I'll give it a 9.8 slash 10. Take two extra points off because of damn length. Check it out by Capcom.